type of data yes. to where them and they become, you know, like something they belong to, like the organization. Yes. And that way we can call marches and things like that. That's, you know. And use that, that as a form of leverage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he helped me the other day uh, when I needed some interviews for the sign that was up on the bulletin board mm -hmm. about uh, scheduled Indians. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they want to unblock the dam. Yeah. And so he gave a nice I comment about I, that. I mentioned yeah. to her that someone, yeah. it was you, mm -hmm. mentioned about going to city council meeting. Mm -hmm. But before we go there, we need to know what the needs of these people. At least yeah. they need to come and kill these rats. Yeah. You see how many rats yeah. are oh, there? Oh, they're horrible. Yeah. I, yeah. I promise them I'm going to go to Home Depot and buy poison from my pocket. Yeah. But I am not in charge of the city. Yeah. The city people need to do that. You need to bring that out and then at the city council meeting. Exactly. As well as, um, like this empty space right there, Star Bucks. you know, we need something here, but we can have a headquarter uh, board where people can come there and they can check in and we can keep a, uh, keep up with the data, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, and, on uh, Green Lake, they have public showers. Exactly. Yeah, but, and, and they need to put uh, porta potties in public showers yeah. for people. And, 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 and having a building just where people can plug their phones, get Wi-Fi yes. and things like that, and making sure that they're doing their, um, their, their legal parts, like they're doing their they review for DSHS and get their food stamps and yes. making sure that they're using the But um, many people, they, 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 they were telling in their interviews, like, we have no access to internet, we have no yeah, phone. And they are telling us, oh, use the phone, call us to schedule an appointment or uh, Google, so that's how we're gonna give you uh, uh, the medical and stuff. So many of them, they don't even read and write. Yeah. And uh, uh, the other thing, they have no cell phones, they have no access yeah. to internet, they have no, no education. Uh, uh, no education. So uh, me being out in the street here for six, seven days, I learned so much mm -hmm. and I'm writing in my notebook. So the, the things that I'm learning every day, mm -hmm. like the benefit that is going to benefit you guys. Mm -hmm. So I want to make the flyer and hand out for people if they're going to use whatever I learned that legally is yeah. your right that you, uh, and your things that you can uh, get as a homeless person. Yeah. And, you know, one thing I like to focus on is that everybody's talking about, you know, the hundred and ninety nine million dollars and all this but for homelessness and for housing but there's other components to homelessness like understanding money being able to uh, start back you know establishing relationships with people you know all that's important to transition back into society because even though you have a hotel a bed if you don't do the other parts you still be homeless because you can't transition and, and make the jump you know so relationships are important as well as you know people help and so going to doctor's appointments and learning to understand money, you know? Yes. A quick talk, you know, second chance at credit. You know, a lot of people credit it, they have loan shark loaning them $20 for $40 back. Yep. And they really think that's a deal because they have no other, no other outlet. Nobody would give them anything. I know. So, if, you know, give second chance loans and things exactly. like that. Exactly. So we're here on the street yeah. and you're doing your interviews door to door. Yeah. And we're gonna stop you from time to time. Yes, I'm gonna be here. So probably another two weeks and I have a friend, she's gonna come with me. We're planning to, to bring the blankets. Like I have a, uh, friends from my community that they already are gonna, uh, they're willing to donate the blankets, the, the pillows, the clothes, whatever, food. And tents. Yeah. And Some tents. people need yes, tents. Yes, yes, yeah. sleeping bags, yes, and yes. Hopefully we can bridge the gap between the, you know, the rich and the, and, and the well, the a society and the homeless, is bridging the gap to where and filling in the gaps with everything for us, you know, them doing their benefits, what type of insurance they need. And the thing is, she's a resource. Mm -hmm. yes. You can talk to her and ask her, yeah. how do I do this? How yes. do I do that? And I'm gonna find information for you. So, okay. so, and my, the other goal is, I remember 27 years ago, this was a nice park here. And now is a ten, is a village, like a 10 city village for the homeless people. So we need to get our Seattle parks back to the citizens, to, to everybody. So, and we need to find a place for the homeless people that they can have the room, we have access to, find to a shelter. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. Sitting Help them. The to, they have no. I to go. asked the guy. Okay, so what is what is your plan? Like yeah. uh, the guy that is helping the cowboy guy. It's like, what is your plan? Like for tomorrow, for for next year, for next month. It's like, Anna, I have no plan. I just live day by day. That's right. That's why he was happy today. He was helping me and he was feeling so good that he helped me to find a guy that he's gonna put to a hospital. He was making a phone call. We went to a hospital, look for a guy. He was like there trying to argue with the nurses like that you cannot just uh, uh, let this guy go. So maybe this is gonna be his last night. 
they just tell him go out in the street. The guy was yeah. ready to go, uh, uh, and it's ridiculous. And, 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 you know, but the look, thing is, look, uh, you can be a voice too. Yes. You know, yeah. you're very articulate, and you know about a lot of variety of things. Yeah. And you helped me the other day with my other story, and I appreciate it from time to time when you kind of take the time to help. Yeah. And you know, these people, the homeless people, that's a big part of society, letting them know that they are a voice and doing things like marches and stuff because along with homelessness, you have the war on drugs. You know, the heroin epidemic is here. Everybody act like they didn't know, you know, and um, we've had troops over in Afghanistan and Pakistan since 2008. And we said we we're withdrawing troops in 2021 this year, but we, um, we used the military to defund terrorism. And when we defunded terrorism, we kept the papping plants and we shipped them over to Mexico. And because we know Mexico is going to be the majority population by 2040. So they ship you dump to Mexico. If you kill the dominant male, you kill off the race. You get 150 cartels, give them thousands of pounds of heroin. But the drugs are already here. Yes. They, they ship you to Mexico and Mexico problem. to here. And because yeah. the government, we won that help. That was a health care war that we won against China and, and, and Russia. And the only way we could win it was telling the American people that they're going to defund terrorism and use the military to go post up over there and we took over all their plants and so we you know you have to have opium to have a health care you can't have morphine surgery or the pain management and the rehabilitation all that comes with the, the poppy plant well the thing is there's a lot of different things that have to be dealt with yes uh, the drug problem the homeless problem the, the money problem you know, showers, yeah. bathrooms, yeah. food. You know, there's a lot of basic real needs. And calling on, on some of the, the the giant corporations we have here. One of the things we have to is giants. We have Microsoft, Boeing, yes. Google, Amazon, yes. Google. Yes. This is a and they drop can, in the bucket. They can them donate can, some money. Let them do volunteer work. So the people work, can you know? get food. Yes, have a have a section for the homeless people to to build things and, and to to do some type of warehouse work or anything, just to get them a start, you know, and to uh, and so make a difference. And so, to wrap it up, uh, give me a little more about your day-to-day. -day. Uh, what are your plans? So, uh, my plans is to keep coming back, uh, get to know people, do the more interview, learn more uh, things about the resources that they can use, uh, learn what their needs are, and learn what they really want so I can be their voice and I can be the resource that they can use uh, for now. And again, I need uh, 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 volunteers and I need young people. I'm, I'm sure that, that they are willing to volunteer and uh, we can and you know, work together. And tell me how together. they get a hold of you. What's the name uh, of the Again, show? they can go on my YouTube channel. Uh, what's it called? It's a life, uh, life and Story official. They can go on my TikTok. Is, uh, uh, what is my I'm sorry, guys. Stop, stop, stop. I get confused. I'm tired of yeah. you. My Facebook uh, account uh, is Erna Hankich Sharic. So you can find me there. You can leave me a message uh, if you want to volunteer or.